Hello, I'm Debbie Kay with the League of Women Voters of Portland, and you are watching Video Voters Guide. We are at Metro East Community Media to talk with candidates running in the November 2016 general election. With me today is Lisa Barton Mullins, running for Fairview City Council, position four. Thanks for coming, Lisa. Thank you, Debbie. We, uh, we have some questions for you, and we'll start with what kind of leadership can you bring to the council? Mm. I can bring a lot of leadership to the council. Um, I have been serving on the Fairview City Council and the Gresham City Council, and um, the current council um, has been, um, I, I think they need new leadership. There's been a lot of contention, um, a lot of um, bickering and whatnot on the council. And I think it's time to bring uh, some new people on, people that are independent thinkers, people that um, can provide leadership uh, and bring the, bring the council back to the citizens of Fairview. All right. Are there specific issues that you think are important to address right now? There's lots of issues going on in Fairview right now. Um, some of the things that we need to be looking at is responsible development. Uh, the council passed a huge tax break to developers. And I applaud them for, for trying to find a way you know, to bring in developers, but the huge tax giveaway that they've given to the developers is unnecessary in my opinion. Uh, with development um, being so high, you know, um, there's very little land and uh, development for new housing, et cetera, is at a peak. And for us to just give away huge tax breaks, I feel is unnecessary. And it also, I think, puts a burden on the citizens of Fairview to make up those taxes. So I'm very concerned about that. Public safety is another one. We need to keep our officers and our citizens um, safe. We are looking at merging with Multnomah County. I haven't uh, decided for sure if I am for that or yet or not. Um, so you mean trading in your police force for enforcement yes, by the sheriff? Correct, yeah. Um, I haven't seen the financial portion of it yet, so I don't know how that works out. But I do know that our police officers are definitely underfunded. We do not have enough police officers to keep the officers that we have safe. And that's a huge, huge concern for me. Um, I think that we need to get some more efficiencies in our budgeting. Uh, when I was on the council uh, 2012, we had a, um, you know, uh, a full budget that was fully funded. And each year, it seems to be getting less and less. We're getting into our reserves. Very concerned about that. Um, we need to look at shared efficiencies amongst the other uh, cities, Wood Village, Troutdale. Uh, some of the things that we can look at are the parks and recreation. We um, work with Gresham for code enforcement uh, as a shared service. I think there's other things that we maybe can do to uh, help save Fairview a good portion of money, and I think we need to really look into those. Um, I think we need to put together uh, a group, possibly of citizens and counselors, to figure out how to market and promote Fairview. I don't think we do a good enough job with that. Fairview is a great, wonderful place to live. It's a beautiful city, and I think we have a lot to offer. Um, not only um, with our parks and um, other facilities, but with our businesses. And I think we need to really dive into that a little more and see what we can come up with marketing and promoting those businesses. Interesting. Um, are there other areas where developing a stronger working relationship with jurisdictions outside of the immediate city would be beneficial? For example, transportation. Absolutely, and that is one of my strong points. Uh, when I was on uh, the council as council president in 2013-2014, I was involved in several um, uh, district-wide um, committees. And the current leadership in Fairview doesn't believe that we need to um, 
have those relationships with other jurisdictions. They feel that they don't need people telling Fairview what to do. Mm -hmm. um, I, I view it a little differently. Um, I think that uh, we absolutely need to have those relationships. Um, look at, uh, for example, Wood Village right now. We have um, the dog tracks being developed. There's also another uh, land trying to be developed for a casino. Um, Gresham right now is looking at uh, the Blue Lake Corporate Park, which abuts Fairview. I think we need to be involved and have to be involved in um, making sure that we're at the table on those sorts of things to help these, uh, these decisions because they absolutely impact our city greatly. Right. Right. Uh, when I was on the, count, uh, or on the council last time, I was uh, on the East Metro Economic Alliance Committee. I was on the Joint Policy Advisory Committee on Transportation. I was also on East Multnomah County Transportation Commission. So I have relationships already with people in Metro, uh, Multnomah County, Wood Village, Troutdale, and Gresham. So um, I, I think that's a really strong, strong asset that I can bring to the count or to the council. Thank you. Anything else you want to add? Um. You know, I just, I really love Fairview, and that's why I'm jumping back into the game after being gone for two years. Um, I'm very concerned with the direction that it's heading. And um, like I said, I love Fairview and the citizens, and uh, I just, I need to jump back in and see what I can do to help promote our wonderful city. What about the relationship with Metro? Actually, I have a fabulous relationship with Metro. I understand that. I meant um, Fairview's relationship. What are the what are the puts and takes there? Uh, I think it's important for us to be at the table with Metro. Mm -hmm. Metro makes a lot of transportation decisions um, and money decisions that affect East County. If we're not there, um, you know, rooting for our area and um, the things that we need, they're going to go to the west side. You know, Metro encompasses uh, three counties. It's huge. It does. And um, I've worked uh, quite extensively with Shirley Craddock, our Metro um, counselor here. Mm -hmm. And um, it, to me, it's, it's vital that, that we're there. Terrific. Well, thank you very much. This is the end of our time. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Video Voter's Guide. Let me remind you that the general election is November 8th, and the last day to register to vote is October 18th. Be sure to be an informed voter. Look into the candidates, look into the ballot measures, and exercise your right to vote. Lisa, thank you so much for joining thank us you, today. Dad.